How does a smaller, sleeker, stronger crimp tool sound to you? Hi, I'm Irene with Daniels Manufacturing, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the EMC 3300. This electromechanical crimp tool was designed to crimp contacts and terminals onto 26 to 10 gauge copper and aluminum cables. Its lightweight and ergonomic design reduces operator fatigue while still producing an impressive one and a half tons of crimp force. It's simple to use with one button controlling all the tool's features. It's quick and efficient and completes a crimp cycle in 1.3 seconds. The tool can produce 250 to 300 crimps per charge. The tool is equipped with a battery charge indicator and maintenance warnings that are displayed via LED lights. Multiple interchangeable dies are offered to produce hex, confined crescent, and nest and indent crimps. This tool is sold in a toolkit that includes a tool, a lithium ion 18 volt battery, and a charger. See the EMC 3300 data sheet on our website for more information. To use the EMC 3300, first select the appropriate die set for your application using our website or sales literature. Today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating the tool using the EMC 102D die set. With the jaws in the open position, insert the die halves by sliding them into the crimp head and securing them with the provided thumb screws. Next, insert your component into the jaws of the die. Utilize the pre-clamp function by closing the trigger to ensure that your crimping component is placed properly. Now, insert your wire and squeeze fully to complete the crimp. The crimp cycle automatically stops when complete and the jaws will retract when the trigger is released. If for any reason the jaws need to be open during the crimp cycle, simply pull the trigger away from the tool body to release the jaws. To verify that the EMC 3300 is working properly, utilize DMC's Go No Go gauges. The gauge is determined based off of the die set in the tool. Squeeze the trigger to fully close the jaws of the tool. On the conductor side of the die, insert the Go side of the gauge. The pin should pass freely. Then insert the No Go side of the gauge. The pin may enter slightly, but it should not pass through fully. If the Go pin does not go, or the No Go pin does go, then the die set should be replaced. You can use our catalog or our website to find the appropriate gauge. If your EMC 3300 requires repair, contact our factory or the authorized repair center in your area. Additional information on that is available on our website. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to subscribe and follow DMC on all of our social media platforms.